Good morning. I hope this finds you well. Uh, just re echo our words of thanks to Tuxi, Maureen, Kilmanity, Anne Marie, and Kathleen. Oops. Anyway, so we, we're going to start with me trying out a him. God help you. Uh, you saw last night how things go awry, but I think I'm figuring why that happened twice in a row. So uh, there's nothing. I think we can sort it, I hope. But Colette Connery, who is a star, has uh, recorded pieces of music. Oops. And I just want to see, because for the children's mass on Sunday, we might see if rather than playing music, which is probably obviously a higher quality to listen to, but it might encourage children to sing more if I am trying to sing. So <laughs> that is pros and cons. But anyway, so we're going to start with a piece of instrumental music, just a bit of it, Colette has played, so I can see how it sounds and if I can sing along. And sure, if it's a disaster, you'll all be very forgiving, hopefully. I've left the sand and stone. Okay, let's see. A bird's dropping, it's just dropped in front of me. Uh, I shouldn't be distracted. If I can see the bird, I might be able to help it. But anyway, so there uh, I was just a few inches short of having it on my hand. Anyway, sorry. There you go. Uh, that's live broad streaming for you right there. Oh yeah, I was saying, I was saying before that, but now I'm going to be slightly distracted because I can't find the word that I've been trying to reach out for an ear. We left the sand and stone there from last night, and we begin each Mass by entrusting ourselves to God's mercy, a mercy that writes our faults in sand, it doesn't carve it in stone. So we do that, and, that, and mercy is all about light and compassion and love, so we pray we light a candle, and we're reminded, and the world around, me, around us changes. And we're reminded once again that one small flame is all it takes to let the darkness know it cannot melt. Now, now I should have to cover the altar cloths if that's going to be a possibility. Prepare me right. Uh, we, as always, we entrust ourselves to that mercy. We pray, Lord, you are sent to the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So you came to call sinners, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And so, may Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. So that's what we're here to do. In the midst of all that we hear and see going on, we, we gather to pray. Because look, it's good to do something. Prayers of how nourishing our spirits and throwing a circle of love around the people we love and the people who care for the sick and the sick. So, in the silence, we call to mind the prayer we want to give to God today. And so, we give you and we give you our prayers to God. We offer this Mass especially. For the soul of Johnny McMahon from Glory, a 
It's Johnny's first anniversary today. All anniversaries are lonely, but particularly first anniversaries. So we think of more and Eileen and Johnny's family. And we remember Johnny today. We pray for a young boy too, Mark Cleary, who's once mine at least. And we also remember Jerry, uh, who lived, I think, at Golden Heffern and last night, so apologies. So we give you and your prayers to God and Johnny McMahon and family and friends as we pray. Pardon the offences of your people, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Oh, the bird is flying around outside. Uh, hasn't done that for days because I, I haven't seen it. Anyway, this is a, a reading from Jeremiah, and Jeremiah recognises that struggles on all sides, but in the midst of it all, he said, the Lord is at my side. So we pray as we listen to trust that the Lord is at our side. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce them, let us denounce them. All those who used to be my friends watch for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. Opponents will stumble, master, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the lines of the heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them. For I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the response is a response we can relate to. In my anguish I called to the Lord and he heard my voice. In my anguish I called to the Lord and he heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. The waves of death rose about me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The snares of the grave entangled me. The traps of death confronted me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my call, Lord, I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, my cry came to his ears. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. And so we greet the gospel. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life, and you have the message of eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. So the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews fetched stones to stone him, so Jesus said to them, I have done many good works for you to see, works for my Father, for which of these are you stoning me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for doing a good work, but for blasphemy. You are only a man and you claim to be God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. So the law used the word gods, of those to whom the word of God was addressed, and scripture cannot be rejected. Yet you say to someone, The Father has consecrated and sent into the world, you are blaspheming, because he says, I am the Son of God. If I am not doing my Father's work, there is no need to believe me. But if I am doing it, then even if you refuse to believe in me, at least believe in the work I do. Then you will know for sure that the Father is in me and I am in him. They wanted to arrest him, but he eluded them. He went back again to the far side of the Jordan to stay in the district where John had once been baptized. The people who came to him there said, John gave no signs, but all he said about this man was true, and many of them believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so when we bring our, our prayers to God, we pray.
pray for Jeremiah's sense. He said, but the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. Lord, give us the grace to trust that you are at our side. Be a hero to us as such. And we call to mind the heroes who are caring for the sick. Bless and protect them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The psalm said, In my anguish I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help, and he heard my voice. Lord, in our anguish we call to you, Lord. We cry to you for help. Hear our voice. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And I suppose it's good to put words to our prayers. You don't need words for prayer. Prayer is uh, kind of prayers of the heart because you could have plenty of words and no heart and that would be that wouldn't really be right either but sometimes it's no harm when God knows what's in our heart to put words on our prayers to actually ask you can read many a story about how someone asked for something even simple and it came in our way so in that spirit we put words to the prayers that are in our hearts today we speak them out and we ask you to to answer them as best you can, Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The psalm said, I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock. You're the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help. Lord, help us to, to say uh, and to grow in our love of you. Be our strength, our rock, our fortress, our refuge. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the sick. Continue to remember those you may be naming today who are sick. Alpha Romeo. All those people, Denise, all those people that you I know and their names appear. We remember them. We remember Jundi and her family in our prayers. And uh, remember Joe, you have heard me mention the name Joe. Joe's an 86-year-old man who who sadly has gotten the virus, but actually he's been stepped down out of uh, the, the care he is to a, a lesser care and now being sent to a different uh, rehab hospital in Dublin. So I say that just, I suppose it's, it's good to hear that this 86 year old man uh, is improving, please God. So look, we wish it could be like that for everyone but we pray for healing for the sick, especially those struggling with the virus. We pray that while they might feel that obviously distant from their loved ones physically, that they'll know that the love, they'll feel the love that we have for each other, both in love and in prayer. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We might pray if it's all right for Marty. Uh, Martin is heading off with the army today. So they're heading off for, I think it's to the level of, uh, no, it's not actually. I must remember where he's going, sorry Martin. But we remember that group from Sarsi's Barracks who are heading off in service. We pray for those they leave behind who will be lonely and, and obviously miss them. So we have to today think of Aoife and Sean and, and Saoirse. But we pray for all those who are in service. May God bless and protect them in what they do. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. And we remember our dead. Today we, we call to mind Johnny McMahon on the occasion of his first anniversary. So we pray for Johnny and Maura and Eileen and the family in Brewery. We pray for Mark Cleary, the young boy whose month's mine it is. So we pray for him and his mother and fa his, his family and his parents. And we pray for the soul of Jared Hulin and we think of the Hulin family today. And we pray eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. And we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It's the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Lord, by the absolute mystery of this water and way, in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite. 
So we pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altar and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father of mercies, and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father, and that you care for all your children. And so with all the angels and saints, with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Brendan our Bishop, and all your people. Remember John, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into thy face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, the prayer that Pope Francis encourages us to pray regularly. As we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. And may that peace of the Lord may it be with you all and with your spirit. And so we pray for peace and sing that peace out to those we love. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And so we pray, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof. The Lord say the word, and my soul shall be blessed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be given in us for this day's supper. And so as I receive, um, I know I've taken down just for today the um, spirit the words of the spiritual communion and prayer. But it's still, you can, in your own way, um, enter into that communion, communion with the depths of who you are, spiritual communion with God, with others, and with those who have gone before. Martin that says, Lord God, I have no idea where I'm going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I really know myself. But the fact that I believe I'm following you is enough. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me on the right road. Though I may be lost and in shadow of death, I will not fear. You will never leave me face my fears alone. And so let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thanks for being with us. Uh, I hope the new radio mic is working for both you watching and those listening at home. We might remember our first Friday people. Normally today, I would be going around to all my first Fridays. I'll try and give you a buzz today at some point, all being well. But sadly, uh, while I'd love to bring you Holy Communion, uh, the restrictions and safety and health and well-being for your sake means that we can't, in as much as we'd like to. And I was looking at creative ways of doing it, uh, but anything that would maybe pose a risk to people we obviously can't do in its own right 
we adhere by that. So just for our first Fridays who are, are listening, I hope the sound is, is working okay. I'm thinking of you. I hope you, you know that when you're listening each day that we're thinking of you as well. Uh, and again, a uh, shout out to Martin Cuddighy, who's heading off. And it is Syria, I said Lebanon, but it's, it's Syria. I'm almost sure it's Syria. So we think of that group from Sarsby's barracks heading off, and we think of their families, so Eva and Sean and Saoirse, and uh, all that goes with it. So thanks for being with us. We'll have our Stations of the Cross for those who stay, and then this evening we'll have the Rosary at half five, and our night prayer tonight will be a first, it will be a Taze night prayer. Uh, some people might like Taze, some people might, and so we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway, sure enough. God loves a child. Anyway, more importantly now, we pray, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. We'll go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And if anyone wants to send in suggestions, this is the first time in a A I've actually seen the bird. So it is flying around now. So any suggestions, Sadly, I can't leave the church open because we're not allowed to open the church, but I've done that in the past. I had bird seed down the aisle of the church. I sat in the sacristy one night with the church in darkness and light here for ages in the hope the bird might fly into the sacristy and we could kind of work its way out. Any suggestions, bar shop are welcome. So, we pray the stations of the cross. And we'll put up the first station, which is uh, Noah's, Noah Cohan from Brewery. So, thank you, Noah. So, I'm sorry now that I've kind of put them over to the side because they'll be slightly hidden by the, the rock. So, we will walk in the footsteps of Christ and we pray our opening prayer. Lord, in walking this way of the cross with you, help us to draw close and feel your love so true. As well as your suffering, may the love that we see encourage and inspire us to be the best we can be. We tr entrust you our crosses and the people we know, seeking healing and peace, seeking grace as we go. So, the first sentence as a station, as Noah has coloured in there, is the one where Jesus is sentenced to death. Uh, so the people who welcomed him one week are, are looking for him to be crucified the next. So we remember those who sadly received bad news. There's a lot of bad news around and, and it could be so we could struggle to see the good news. But we remember in this station those who've received bad news, or those who've had to deliver bad news, those who feel hopeless and stressed and anxious. Uh, we pray for strength for those people in our world who are condemned like Jesus, be it because of where they come from, or their colour, their gender, or their sexuality. We, we pray for those who are sick and, I suppose, unwell at this time. And we pray and sorrow for the times we might have condemned others to death by what we said and thought. So we pray. At times life is tough and it can feel so unfair. At times we may wonder, does anyone care? May we try to be kind and never cause pain. May God uphold us both in our struggle and strain. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So thank you, Noah. And the next station we have is Noah's sister, Olivia, and it's Jesus, and he's carrying his cross. So Jesus is given his cross. So we, we pray in this station, and I suppose we all carry crosses. Sadly, uh, no, some of them will be known to us alone, some visible to others, and we wish it wasn't so. Suffering is awful, it robs us of our strength and our joy and our faith. So Lord, help us to try to lessen suffering wherever we find it but then to bravely accept the crosses that cannot be changed. Trusting that we're more resilient than we think, and also trusting that we're never alone in our suffering. So we remember all those who are suffering and carrying crosses, especially those that go and see, and especially those who are sick with the virus. And so we pray, our lives are a mix of both sunshine and rain. We freely share our joy, but we often hide our pain. May we reach out to others struggling under a cross, and may God and others help us in our times of loss. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. So thank you, Olivia, for that, and so, Noah and Olivia, so we remember you and your families and your grandparents.
Ericsson. Now the third station we have is from Sirsha. So thank you Sirsha. And the third station is where Jesus falls the first time. The weight of the cross is too much and you fall. We all fall. Sometimes because of our mistakes. Sometimes we're forced to the ground by the pressures of life, work, college, relationships, or because of how others treat us. Either way, it's never nice to fall. While falling is part of life, getting up is a bigger part. So Lord, remember those who fall today. Give us the strength to always rise up when we fall and help, and also to help others to their feet and encourage them on their way. And so we pray. None of us are perfect. We make many a mistake. Falling short of our best brings its own heartache. So may we be compassionate to others who fall. May God help us to rise and strive to stand tall. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This saga is worse than Dynasty or Dallas or EastEnders. I'll keep you updated, so I will. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. So, mothers suffering are coming in and are going. And we thank God in this station for the gift of mothers and fathers. And when Jesus met his mother, we don't know where any words exchange, but a, a, a parent's touch, look, presence, goes way deeper than words. It helps us on our journey. So we remember all mothers and fathers, especially those who, like Mary, have been broken-hearted watching, watching the suffering or, or death or, of a child, broken-hearted because of the turmoil in their family or in their world. We remember parents of sick children. We remember Aaron and his family and all those who are anxious. I, I think of Noah and his, his mother, a different Noah, sorry, not Noah from Ham, uh, a, di a different Noah, and I think of his mother Ula, who was trying to mind him in these times. So, we ask you, Lord, to bless and strengthen parents, and we pray. A parent's love is unwavering, so strong, so true, so deep. It feels a child's pain when they struggle, when they weep. Lord, draw close to parents, and those struggling to come, bless and protect them give them reasons to hope. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The fifth station, giant Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. He may not have been wanted to, it was, he was forced to, but he did. And we all need help to carry our crosses. It would be unwise to carry a cross on our own. So in this station we pray for, for family and friends the people, the organisations who go out of their way to lighten the burdens in our lives, to help others carry crosses, especially those who in the healthcare. We pray then for the graciousness and generosity of spirit to always be willing to lighten the crosses of others and to do our best to ensure that nobody's left to carry a cross on their own. And so we pray. Simon was forced to help Jesus in his time of need as to carry a cross alone makes one less likely to succeed. May we be a Simon to others and help them carry their load. And Lord, give us strength when we're struggling on the road. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. One small deed creates ripples that go on forever, so let us never doubt the difference a kind word or deed can make. 
Veronica couldn't do much, but she did something. She stepped out of the crowd using what she had to hand, a towel. Lord, when we encounter suffering, help us to be willing to do something, to step out of the crowd and extend tender kindness using whatever we have to hand, trusting that a little kindness can and will make a big difference. And so we pray. Veronica stepped from the crowd using the little that she had, trusting an act of love could transform a moment that was sad. From little acorns, grey hopes grow, or so we have been told. Veronica reminds us that little lads are made of gold. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Sometimes, even with help, we fall again, and it can be even harder to pick ourselves up. Falling down is one thing, but staying down is another. So irrespective of how often we fall, help us to always rise up. And even when we feel that we can't rise up, give us the desire to rise up, Lord, and help us to trust that with your help and the help of others, there's always hope, and that the despair, shame, or hopelessness that may come with falling can and will pass if we just hold on tight to you and to others. And so we pray. To fall down once again can cause us to despair, leading us to doubt our value, strength and prayer. May we reach out to all who have fallen to their knees. Lord, give us strength to rise up. Oh, please, Lord, please. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So thanks again, Billy. Hope you're well. And now, this station is the 8th station, and it was drawn by Ali, so uh, Carol Humphrey's uh, grandniece, and Ali's making communion this year, so hopefully that'll stay up. I know it's not doing it justice, Ali, uh, but I printed it off as best I could and tried to make it as large as I could, uh, given the circumstances. So, it's Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. I think, uh, Lord, help us to never be so self-obsessed with our lives and our struggles that we don't see the pain of others. And also, as well as remembering that, we pray for women in our world. Women suffer greatly and so often aren't given the dignity and the respect that they deserve. So we pray for women because their resilience, their capacity to feel the pain of others, their compassion knows no bounds. So in this station, we pray for women in our world. We pray for uh, the grace then to never be so self-obsessed or self-absorbed in our struggles that we fail to see, hear and attend to the hurts of others. And so we pray. Being full of ourselves leaves no room for others. It stops us from being good sisters and brothers. Heal hearts that are heavy with your help from above. And in the midst of our hearts, Lord, help us to. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, we fall into the same sins and traps and mistakes. We wonder will we ever be free of our suffering, compulsions, addictions and bad habits. It can be so demoralizing and disillusioning. Lord, help us not to lose heart when times are tough. Lord, help us to keep fighting the good fight and to keep picking ourselves up each time we fall. And rather than count the times we fall, let's count the times we rise up. And may we help others to do the same. 
we pray. We repeat our mistakes and we can't but wonder when our weaknesses always pull us asunder. While falling is tragic, it's worse today to stay down. Lord, help us to rise up and turn our lives around. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Were you there when they laid him in a tomb? Were you there when they laid him in a tomb? Oh, 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 oh sometimes <laughs> it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you Jesus is stripped of his garments, so after all the physical torture, you're shamed, you're stripped of your dignity. We're familiar with the phrase, they throw, we throw strips at him. It kind of reminds us of the times where we, maybe we shamed others, we exposed their faults and punished them, maybe overly punished them for their mistakes. So we pray that we be a people who rather than tear strips off others, that we'll be more compassionate, that we'll clothe them with tenderness, love and compassion. And we remember those in our world who feel shame and exposed. And so we pray. Shaming and condemning seems okay when we're mad. Spiteful comments or online posts to make others feel bad. Bless those hurting in our world whose dignity has been stripped. Remind us of our worth when our sense of self has slipped. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. I suppose to have your hands and feet held down and nails driven through them gives rise to a pain beyond all telling. So we remember those who are sick and suffering today, be it sick with the virus, sick at home, sick in general. We remember those who are feeling lonely and isolated, those who are finding it difficult. So Lord, they say it wasn't nails but love that held you to the cross. In that moment we hope there was a love at the depths of your soul that helped to ease the pain. May that love at the depths of our soul help us when we're in pain, when we're isolated, when we're alone. Sadly, sickness and suffering are part and parcel of life. Even Jesus faced difficulties and moments of strife. May we never be indifferent and ignore another's pain. Walk with us always, Lord, both in sunshine and in rain. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The twelfth station. So thank you, Sersha, or Ali, I mean. Thank you, Ali. And the twelfth station was thankfully put together by Katie Cosgrove. Thank you, Katie. And so this is the station where Jesus dies on the cross. How long did it take, Lord? Were you in pain? Were you afraid? That last breath, and suddenly it was all over, and yet really it was only beginning. So we remember those who have died. We pray uh, for Kathleen O'Donnell. We remember Gerard Hoolan. We pray for John McMahon. We remember those who are dying. We remember their families, particularly if people are dying sadly of the virus, everyone's at a distance. So we pray for them. May their last breath be a letting go of the limitations and struggles of life and an embracing of a light and a love and a peace that are beyond all time. May they be held in love and prayer at this time. And so we pray. Sadly, death is so final it robs us of those we love. May we trust they're at peace with God up above. Love is sacred and eternal and friendship is forever. May this love encourage us, Lord, to never say never. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Were you there when they raised him from the tomb?
the station Jesus is taken down from the cross. The nails were priced free and your body was taken from the cross. May we always treat the body with great reverence and dignity, both in life and in death. May we always realise how sacred each person and each life is, from its earliest moment to our final breath. Wherever possible, we pray, that will help people down from their, the crosses they are nailed to, while there's still time. And so we pray. We're made in the image and likeness of the God of love. Our sacredness and dignity comes from within and above. May we never doubt our worth. We have a dignity that's true. Lord, your spirit gives value to all we are and all we do. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The struggles are over. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We are broken heart and disillusioned, and our hopes and dreams put to rest. It looked like a failure. Remember, Lord, those whose hopes and dreams have been shattered. Help us to always remain hopeful in the face of trials. Help us to trust that in life there is always more than meets the eye, and that in the end it will be okay. And if it's not okay, well, for now, it's not the end. And we pray. They say where there's life, there's hope, but I'm not so sure. Where there's hope, there's life seems more likely to endure. So may we try to give hope. To both stranger and friend, and help them see that all will be well in the end. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because you have redeemed the world. So, Lord, you are a God who suffered, a symbol of your loving solidarity with us, especially in our struggles and limitations, in our loneliness and isolation, in our fears and anxieties. So as we've tried today to walk with you and to you and to others, help us to trust that you always walk with us. Your example challenges us. During your toughest moments, you prayed for forgiveness for your enemies. You reached out to others. You encouraged, you showed patience and resilience in those times. Please encourage and help us to patiently endure our difficulties while trusting that you will never leave us to face our struggles alone. So thanks for being with us. We might pray the prayer of St. Francis. So Lord, please help us, Lord, find this way out. And give us all a, a bit of hope and lift, because I'd hate to see a poor world die. So we, we might, uh, as I said earlier, there's nothing to bring to God. So look, Lord, we pray that you will somehow intervene. And we know you will not have him at the moment, but please guide the word out and we pray. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may not seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternity. May Almighty God, thanks for being with us. May Almighty God bless and keep you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we say, say, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, some Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble.